Hello, in this uh, video we will go over the step for deploying mobile apps. We are heading to our mobile app builder and we are in the we will go to produce app section and we already have downloaded our app config file and place it in app.json file in the correct position and here it is and uh, the next step will be to um, now upload the app icon to do that we need to go to the app setup and upload the app icon and by recommendation from uh, expo it should be 1024 by 1024 and I will upload the app icon and this is the icon I have and after a few seconds it will be uploaded and if I go to my dashboard I will see the app icon here but this may not work if you don't go first in storage and you have to enable Firebase storage first so you need to click on get started and then create the Google storage bucket after that's done you can upload app images now let's go back to the produce app section and we go to the set icon and we have here in instructions that you have done that you should download the app icon and move it to the correct position but this is not really automated and not really handy and we are working on this uh, procedure to make it uh, to, to automate it completely so for this now what we will going to do is just work on the image locally inside the mobile app folder in the, the folder that you have there is an assets folder and there is icon and splash.png and these images should be replaced with the icon this is the app icon I will copy from here copy and go back to my source code and put the the icon and you can also uh, replace the splash.png image this is the splash screen of your app but know that we we have also other uh, if we run the app I will do that now expo start you will see that we have uh, different kinds of images not just this play screen and the app icon but we also have a logo here and uh, on the loading screen we have a uh, it should start shortly Okay, now we will load and after I refresh this is the press screen, this is the loading screen and you saw a logo there but that logo in fact is the one here in app images and that's that one so you need to manually modify these images for now until we made the automation script and this is the uh, NAF logo the one that appears on here the site logo is displayed if you use uh, site navigation okay so we have put our icon the splash screen is the old one and we can move to the next step which is the deploying our uh, deploying, deploying to app store but first we need to build standalone apps we already have installed expo CLI and the next thing it says that we need to configure our app.json to have these bundle identifiers and we already have that let's check we have iOS bundle identifier and then Android package name okay the next thing will be to run the start the build process so we need to run expo build Android or build iOS to build Android or iOS version so I will first start with the Android one, I will stop here, I will clear and know that we need to be in the folder where our mobile app code is, you can check by PFD to see that you are in the correct place and if you run ALS uh, listing you should see package.json, that's the important one and all the modules. Okay, so I will clear once again, I will run the command expo build Android. And here, as said in the documentation, Expo will ask us, do, you, do we want to Expo handle the process or we want to upload our own key stores, depending on your situation. You can, I, I use mostly this, Expo handle the process completely. And in this case, I will uh, 
because I before I have run these tests, I was not asked be, be, because I said directly this export had no the process, but there is option to uh, clear credential and uh, export will ask me once again. So for now, Expo goes directly on once again. Let Expo handle the process, and it starts building the Alice bundle. And later on, we start building the uh, the Android bundle. It's already there, and it has finished uh, building the JavaScript bundle. And now we start the process of uploading the uh, uploading the these bundle files to their servers. I will pause the, the build process here, I will pause the video recording since it may take longer and I will continue after that being done. After some time, <laughs> when you open this page, uh, you will see uh, log being outputted and separated into few steps and at the end there is a verification signing created application APK and you should see the completed uh, green checkbox and you can download the APK file after you download the APK file you see it's an APK you can follow the documentation on how to uh, submit the app on deploy to app stores and then you should read about um, uploading on Google Play so it's somewhere specific on Google Play Then you have to go on uh, like uh, any normal APK. Just go on uh, Google. Just go on Google and write Google Play Console, and you will see. If you don't have an account, you can create and then publish your APK. It's that simple. And for the process for uh, the uh, the the iOS is instead of 100 you write at the end I will clear this um, you will write just iOS and then um, we'll check as before uh, and you have the option to as before either you can upload your own certificates or uh, let ha Expo handle all the certificates and uh, all the credentials. I will do this. What's your Apple ID? Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, in order to publish on your Google Play on your App Store account, they will need your Apple ID and then your password to manage the certification because yeah, only you can publish apps on and sign up on App Store on your Apple account. So you have to you had to have a Google uh, Android uh, sorry and uh, Apple developer account which costs ninety nine dollars per year and the Google Play account developer account costs twenty five dollars uh, once. So as soon as you enter this in, Facebook will start uh, signing the app. Will create automatically certificates for you. So it's even more simpler uh, regarding user actions uh, than the Android one. So I think with this we cover how you can compile your app. As I said before, this is a section that this is work in progress. So uh, regarding the app, app icon and all the placements, so this section in feature will be changed a lot. So yeah, thanks for watching.